Hey, Sport, you ready? I've got our orders. The invasion still steps off as planned. They're not paying us to be late. But the best part is that we get to go in first, just like old times. The intel boys say the enemy is powering up a set of nasty ground-to-orbit guns. If those are online when the rest of the Dragoons arrive, everyone dies, and we blow our bonus. So our little team gets to make a covert landing outside the range of the existing guns, sneak across half a continent, and take them out before our dropships show up. Just you, me, briefing boy here, a handful of pilots, and some of your favorite toys. You up for this? Foster, I need that damage report now. Okay, Captain, I have bad news and worse news. The bad news is that you're the only one who didn't make it out of the dropship before we hit. The worst news is that you're the only mech warrior anywhere near here. Here's a quick status report. It was a rough landing, but the Icarus held together, mostly. At the first sign of trouble, we hot-dropped the other combat teams. Bravo Lance is out there somewhere, but we've lost all contact. Is there something beyond worse? Here it comes. The dropship's long-range sensors and weapon systems are out. They'll be coming for us, and soon. Lieutenant Foster tells me that most of our battle mechs are offline, but he's trying to get one up and running. So let's do what the Wolf Dragoons are paid to do. Improvise. Confirm your mech status, then recon and secure the immediate area. Fast. I'll keep trying to raise Bravo Lance on comm. Well, this is quite the shitty situation we got ourselves into right off the bat. Hello everyone, Villy12510. Welcome to the first part of Let's Play Mech Assault. One of my favorite shooters of all time. Well, this is normally where I explain what Mech Assault is or what the game I'm playing is. I have played this game before, mind you. Um so basically, Mech Assault is a third-person shooter where you basically get to pile around a giant robot and destroy everything. Just like every 12-year-old's dream. Right there we got a mission briefing that basically tells you every objective in the mission that we're playing right now. This one in particular is called Going Down Hard. So... We need to basically recon the surrounding area after we crash landed on this planet that's called Hey, it's called Helios. They never tell you the name of it in this game, by the way. The only way we get to recon the area is if we pick a mech. The only one we have that's been on the screen for at least half a minute or so by this point is called the Cougar. Cougar is a light and fast mech well suited for recon and lightning raids. And here we get statistics of the mech and the weapons it's carrying. The Cougar is a light class assault, light class assault mech. That makes sense. Oh, mechs are, bleh. if I could talk straight. I'm a, I'm a little nervous. First episode jitters and all. That's nothing you get over. There are four different ranges of mechs, basically denoting their firepower capabilities and armor ratings and stuff like that. Light, medium, heavy, and assault. The Cougar is one of one of three breeds of light mechs. And there, there's also an alternate version of this mech, which we'll get sooner le rather than later, but we aren't going to get it right away. Light mechs don't tend to have a lot of armor, but they are pretty maneuverable, as the Cougar is. And it has jump jet capabilities, which will be explained in a little bit. The weaponry it has... Mechs have two of the three different types of weapons, depending on the mech it is. All mechs tend to have one of, or at least one different type of the three main weaponries. The blue is lasers, 
The yellow is ballistics, and the red is missiles. So the Cougar has twin pulse lasers, which are basically rapid fire laser technology. These that have moderate heat, overheating capability. He's the auto cannon is moderately powerful, takes a little bit to reload, and it has a slight chance of knocking down mechs. And the javelin missile missiles are pretty moderately powerful and have lock-on capabilities, and they're pretty good. It also has two of those. Cougar overall is pretty okay. Of all the start, of all the light mech classes, the Cougar is the best, and it's very. Cougar and its variation are the best of all the light mechs out there. But let's just get into the mission, going down hard. The operation is off to a bad start. The Icarus now grounded, our job will be that much harder. I've got good news, Major. I was able to use parts from some of the heavy mechs to fix the Cougar Scout mech. Wait, you took parts from the heavy mechs to fix the light mech? Well, um, yeah, I, I thought that I... Oh, whoa, I'm reading some signatures in the canyon to the north of our position. We've got company. Mech warrior, proceed north and investigate. Briefing boy, we need to Oh talk. boy, Foster's gonna get it. So, basic controls. Wow, they just popped up. So, the left thumb stick, this is on the Xbox controller, will move your mech, and the right thumb stick will pivot the torso of the mech. You can turn the aiming controller upside down by pressing start, selecting controller options, and selecting the invert Y axis. So basically, um, you can move like side to side, like strafe, by moving the left analog stick left and right, and move forward by moving left thumb stick forward, or back by moving it back. Uh, you can pivot the torso left or right, depending on which way you uh, move the right thumb stick. And basically, if you have invert Y axis turned on, if you move the stick forward, you'll the camera behind you will pan up here, but if you move it back, it will go like down here. So you can start just shooting at the ground. This is the Icarus. Since your the target reticle turned blue, so don't shoot it. You can shoot it, and you can destroy it, and it will cause mission failure. Other than that. That left circle with the N on it is your radar. It basically tells you where enemies are. You'll mostly be fighting enemies in this game. But hey. And tell you basically what they are. Like small dots tend to be like lesser threats like say infantry or tanks. And boxes will be enemy mechs. But you don't fight any in this first mission so you don't need to worry about that yet. On your right, there's, well, I'll start with the green bar, which is most prominent. That's your mech's armor rating. As you take damage, it will decrease until it reaches nothing and your mech will explode, causing mission failure. Which is a problem with this game, the only problem I have with this game. There are no mission checkpoints in this game. And missions in this game can be pretty long. So, if you're not careful, you'll be end up doing the entire mission over again, which is no fun. The bar next to it is your mech's heat. Firing weapons, and to a lesser extent using jump jets if your mech has them, will cause your mech to overheat, meaning you fire or your rate of fire will go down. Some, like, if I keep using the pulse laser, you see the heat rating goes up. If I keep it down long enough, the meter will start blinking, and at the top it will be red. That means my rate of fire will be significantly less. Uh, you can switch between the weapons you have of the X, Y, and B buttons. X for lasers, Y for ballistics, and B for missiles. So missiles have create a lot, tend to create a lot of heat. Ballistic weapons tend to not create any heat at all. And pull and uh, laser weapons are kind of in the middle. If your mech has machine guns, that's like the best ballistic weapon to have because you don't create any heat with those. But uh, anyway, infantry squad inbound. Infantry? Who would want to fight a mech on foot? Looks like your lucky day, Tiger. So you can shoot all these guys, or you can step on them like bugs. 
you step that he also you like why would you fight so max vary in size anywhere between 30 and a hundred feet I would not want to be a foot soldier trying to fight something that's a hundred feet tall or I don't think it's a hundred feet tall but these things weigh like little the fucking tons. Come from beyond this ridge you should jump jets to hop over short obstacles lieutenant you are talking to a trained mech warrior not a tank jockey so as this will show us I uh, can click and hold the left thumbstick jump jet and you steer using the same thumbstick if your mech has jump jets e equipped not all mechs do reading infantry base dead ahead level it all weapons are online, sir. You're good to go. Implying they weren't all online at the start of this mission. Uh, you, you can also use the left trigger to, to cycle through your weapons. The one you have currently selected is in the lower right of your HUD. This blue bar shows us how much fuel. It's official. They know we're here and they will be coming for That's us. That's great. Oh, and you can get stuck on things. You find. Okay, so salvage. I'm gonna have to explain all the. I'm gonna explain everything. Look for salvage after destroying certain buildings, supply trucks, or enemy mechs. Some salvage will replenish your armor while others provide increased weapon power. So. Let's see where I can find stuff. Wow. I just love these weapons. Great, every. This is, we literally just destroy and fog everything. This green salvage will repair your armor rating. This right here, this particular set of salvage will boost the power of your laser weapons to level 2. If you find another icon that matches that, it will go up to level 3. You will own... Oh. I've got readings that look like a sub... More infantry. Are they crazy? These guys must be fanatics. Don't waste your ammo. Pretend that those poor bloody infantry are bugs and... Confirmed. Supply convoy it is. Okay, so you aren't more stupid. You should take out this convoy here. How? Get destroyed. I I, I honestly should have practiced more. Jesus Christ! I'm better at this game. I'm better. I swear to you, I'm better at this game than this. Yes. Mech warrior, that convoy was going somewhere. Find out where. Lieutenant Foster, can you get us some coordinates? Almost got them online. There we go. That's right. What was I saying? Oh yes. Uh, you have limited ammo for upgrade for upgraded versions of your weapons, but your base weapons have unlimited ammo. Although your upgraded ammo is a lot more powerful. Like the javelin missiles. The base are blue, and they're the weakest form, but at level 2, they're, I believe they're white or yellow, I can't tell which. And at level 3, they're red. Fuck me, I am not as good at this game as I thought it was. So then again, I am playing one of the harder difficulties. So the campaign has four different difficulty settings. Uh, sir, from here it looks like an infantry headquarters and support facility, but I'm getting some weird readings. I can't pin it. Who are these crazy bastards? Wipe them out. Level their HQ building and watch for any salvage. Okay, so gotta just I gotta be careful when explaining myself. The auto cannons are one of those few weapons in the game that boost the amount of shots that are fired through upgraded ammo. Uh, I'm trying to think of a think they're called crossbow missiles that do the same thing. I'm almost out of ammo for those. My missiles. Jesus. Okay, good. We got it all back. Okay. Uh, so there are four different difficulty settings for the campaign. Green, regular, veteran, and elite. I'm playing on veteran mode. I might switch it down to regular. To um regular though I don't know because I haven't beaten this game on veteran difficulty I've just played it a lot I'm gonna see how good I am but new readings 
Whoa, that's some sort of hybrid power armor. Hybrid power armor? What is going on here? Planetary militias don't have power armor. I guess they aren't planetary militia then, are they? These are tech... Oh, I thought they were going to say something. These are elementals. They are suits of power armor. You can play as them in multiplayer. That's why I know what they're called. They're not too powerful on their own. They can't really handle mechs. But in a group, they can be deadly. Although, the Jeff will be cross. But these javelins are cross, but I can't remember. Yeah, I ran out of the level 3 weaponry, so I'm back down the base. But as soon as you take out all the elementals, this mission becomes a lot easier. Uh, I wish the pulse lasers had more lock on Cougar. They're, they're just straight fire. The only weapon the Cougar has it is lock on, I think, are its missile systems. But the goal of this mission after you do that is just to destroy this building here. Why this building in particular, I'm not entirely sure. Okay. So I'm not really going to get to talk about this game too much in this part, because after this there's another cutscene leading into the next mission. So I'll talk about this game a bit more and why I like it so much in the next part. But for now, let's destroy this building. Signatures. Good job, Mech Warrior. Return to the Icarus ASAP. Mission successful. Surprised my capture hasn't died yet. All right. Well. Well, things can't get worse though, can they? I mean. Sirs, I'm receiving a video feed from Bravo Lance. Finally. Transmit it. Hey, watch yourself. Lieutenant, can you get that back? I can't, Major. There's nothing to get back. I see. Any sign of the rest of Alpha Lance? N no, sir. Captain, get back to the Icarus. For now, it's just you and that scout mech, but this operation continues. Like I said, Dragoons improvise.